doing well today we are going to learn about auto layout and we have chosen the topic stack view so we'll look today that how we can use stack view effectively so I'll take first one UI view and I'll give some color to this one and I'll take few more views right and I'll change the color so that we can understand more right so we'll select all these three views and we have one option this year embed in stack so we'll click on here now now you can see there is one new object that is stack view and under that is stack view all the the three views are there whatever we have created previously so what it's doing it's creating a class UI stack view which is also inherited from UI view only but it is going to give us some different kind of some uh, different features so now you can see we are getting errors here and first we'll look that what are the options we have we can change the horizontally and vertically this stack as per our need right so uh, we need to give some options so here first we need to give the constraint to this particular stack view so what I'll do I'll give here uh, 20 top 20 leading 20 trailing and 20 bottom first of all right now still we have this uh, error because we still not defined the width and height for this uh, uh, child views you can say so for that we have few options here for alignment this is fill this is one option second is leading if you take leading then all views will be start from the left side and the center the all views will be from the center and the trailing means all views will be from the right side so fill is perfectly fine for uh, for this case right now just we need to change the distribution so distribution option we have this, this fill and fill equally fill proposally equally spacing equal centering so here we'll take the fill equally options right and also we have options for spacing so if you want to give a space then you can give so I'll give five so now you can see the separation is there so whatever constraint right now we have given uh, we can give without using of stack view but it's good to use stack view because Apple is going to give us a very good feature so we don't need to give explicitly like this uh, sorry this option like horizontal spacing and vertical spacing so stack view does for this for us so, uh, by giving this option so this is fine right so now if you are ch going to change this one see everything is fine so whatever mode you want to use axis like horizontal or vertical you can use it this is a very simple example of stack view so now we are going to uh, take some more example with the complex one so that we can understand this stack view more right so I'm going to delete this one first now what I'll do I'll take one view here and I'm giving small sizes so that we can take more and again some background color now I'm creating this is as a three views okay fine now I'll take one more view and going to give the background color and I'll create one more view okay now few more options will take uh, with new 
background color see suppose this kind of UI you we need right so what we can do as here we have this three UI which is similar right so we'll select all these three and embed in a stack right now it's looking like one but if we'll check here we have all three views available right so don't bother about the error right now we'll take later now I'm going to embed this one again okay now again two views are there now I'm going to embed these four views right so now we have three stack views right so we can do we can select all these three views again and embed in a single stack view so now we have one super stack view you can say and in that we have three more stack views and each stack view contains the views whatever we have given previously right so first we need to give constraint to the super stack view as we have done in a um, previous case also whatever we have checked right so I'm going to give this one 10 10 10 and the 10 right right but it's still we have errors because inside stack views is not properly assigned right now so here alignment will be fill and this will be fill equally first of all and the space will be supposed 10 pixels okay fine for this one also we are going to do the same thing fill equally and the space will be the 10 okay and here again we'll do the fill equally and space will be 10 so it seems good right this one and then this one Now we have all the views inside that one, right? Okay. Okay, that's great. Here also we need to give the space for the parent one, right? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So we have one parent stack view and three child stack view but still you can see here you are getting error because the stack views of child stack views don't have the y positions so it's showing us a missing constraints so how you can do that one by this distribution so for the parent one we'll give this one fail first option so now it's looking proper and the distribution will be fill equally see now everything is fine we don't have any error right so we need to just take care about these options first the fill option which kind of option will be previously this one the leading one that's why the views are looking not exactly the same whatever we needed and this one was fill so we have changed this one equally fill equally right now if you want you can change this one horizontally then also everything is fine so it's up to you like how you are going to use that one uh, as per your UI and you can use this one for any orientation it will work fine for any devices it will work perfectly fine okay see for iPad also for both modes either that is portrait or landscape okay so thanks for watching guys uh, if you like this video just please like comment and subscribe this channel right thank you